is Jill Kempner, Angel Professional, and this is the weekly Angel Card Reading for July 16th through July 22nd, 2018. Happy, happy! Um, we're going to be shifting from the Cancer Sun to the Leo Sun this week. And so I asked a different question. We're using a different deck. I'm super excited. So we're going to be working with the Angel Therapy Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue this week. Just love that image. And the question this week is, what angel action steps can you take this week to feel more daily joy? Which I just really love. And so as we begin the week on Monday and Tuesday, we're going to be working with um, Archangel Raziel and the message of, you are profoundly clairvoyant. I just love this message and I love Raziel, the wizard angel. <laughs> and so the message is, trust what you see in your mind's eye as well as with your physical sight for your spiritual vision helps you with healing, teaching, and guidance. The angels send you this message to help you trust the visions you receive in your mind's eye during your dream time as well as the signs that you see, that you physically see, such as reoccurring numbers, feathers, coins, flashes of light, and so forth. The angels are saying that when you see any of these signs, it is a strong message to focus on your inner joy, to stop, breathe, and, and draw in the energy of joy. Clairvoyance, which means clear seeing, is a form of intuition that the angels use to speak to you. And since the creator is all seeing, it stands to reason that you and everyone else would inherit the gift of spiritual sight. As you trust and follow the messages you are given through your inner vision, your experience of joy will increase, which I really love. If your gift seems blocked, your clairvoyance, the cause may be a painful past experience that the angels can help you to heal and release. The issue in the tissue may be long-held grief, disappointment, betrayal, self-doubt, worry, or distrust that is blocking your personal joy. The angel action step on Monday and Tuesday is to work with Archangel Raziel the wizard angel, the alchemist archangel, to heal any past life wounds from your third eye chakra. <clears throat> and so the prayer to work with is Archangel Raziel and my celestial team of angels and allies, I call upon you now. Please surround me in the highest and purest vibrations of divine love to heal and release any old fears connected to my spiritual sight. And you can use that prayer on Monday and Tuesday and all week long to open up your clairvoyance and heal any past life wounds in your third eye. Then just, and as you do that, then you're going to just breathe and relax. As your body, after you say this prayer, you know, your body may tingle or shudder while um, you release toxins or any blocks to your personal joy. Stay with this process until your body feels completely at ease know that you can control your clairvoyance by asking the angels for help and support. Know that it is right for you to see clairvoyantly and to feel your joy in your body, mind, and spirit, as this blessing can be used to assist you with your healing and teaching work. Your clairvoyance also gives you continuous and accurate guidance, much like, G like a GPS electronic map in your car or on your phone that guides you to the right destination. The angels are saying, trust what you see, which is absolutely beautiful. And so the crystal to work with on Monday and Tuesday with Archangel Raziel and the energy of clairvoyance, you are profoundly clairvoyant, is Azurite for insight. Um, and the affirmation is, I am guided to perceive the true nature of reality. And so this is just a spectacular piece such an amazing deep 
blue. Actually, I actually have two pieces. This one is, the blue is azurite and the green is malachite. So azurite and malachite are tend to form together. This is such a spectacular piece to open your third eye, increase your insight, increase your inner vision. Just absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> and heal old patterns, which this whole week is about. <laughs> and so, as we move to the middle of the week, we're going to be working with Archangel Raguel and Archangel Shamuel, the energy and wisdom of law of attraction. Oh, I just absolutely love this message. And so the message is relationships and activities that you once enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of energies. Your celestial team of angels and allies and Archangel Raguel and Archangel Shamuel um, say that you are experiencing shifts because of your spiritual path. The universal law of attraction says like attracts like and also that joy attracts joy. So you are attracted to people and situations that have a similar intentions and internet energetic signature to your own. For example, if your intentions are to be loving and joyful and to see the divine within everyone, you will attract loving people and situations. You will also help, um, you will also repel um, people who have unloving focuses. This is why you may find your relationships and tastes have changed. You may avoid old friends um, that no longer fascinate you, or perhaps you now dread going to a job or the club that you previously enjoyed. Know that these experiences and feelings are a normal part of your spiritual path. You are attracting wonderful, joyful, new relationships and situations and jobs that mirror your spiritual focus and higher consciousness. Give any cares, any issues in the tissues, any questions, concerns, guilt, or heartache to the angels for healing and transformation, especially in the middle of the week on Wednesday and Thursday. And so your angel action step on Wednesday and Thursday is to recite this prayer as many times as you need to, to shift into your joyful and loving heart. Archangel Raguel and Archangel Shamuel, Thank you for helping me stay true to myself as I experience these important changes and focus on my joy. I ask for your complete and thorough assistance in sorting through relationships, my career, and other life areas where I feel my tastes have changed. Guide me through these changes with grace, compassion, and integrity so that everyone involved is blessed. absolutely beautiful and so I just love that and so the crystal to work with um, in the middle of the week to bring in to attract more joy is the water crystal kunzai and the keyword is joy I open and the affirmation is I open my heart to receive joy and share gratitude Mm, and so I'm actually wearing a piece. It's a very, this is a very kunzite. It's a very precious stone. So this is like a purple, kind of a translucent, light purple crystal. Just exuding the energy of joy, which is absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. And so as we move to the weekend, we're going to be working with Archangel Raphael and the wisdom of heal away addictions. So I just absolutely love this image. There's a turtle in there. It's like an abalone shell. And then the turtle just pouring away, releasing it from your body, mind, and spirit. Just absolutely beautiful. And so the message is it's time to let go of behaviors that are blocking you from your heart's desire and your joyful intentions. Ask Archangel Raphael, the healer angel, to help you with this healing. <clears throat> your celestial team of angels and allies and beautiful Archangel Raphael come to validate what you already know. 
it's time to let go of addictive behaviors as they are interfering with your health, happiness, joy, and life's purpose. Your angels ask you to be very honest with yourself, with yourself, especially on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday over the weekend, um, and admit that these addictions are wasting your time, robbing you of energy, joy, and confidence, and blocking the answers to your prayers. Fortunately, the angels will support you through every step of healing away cravings and other addictive tendencies and old karmic patterns. It begins with you making a clear decision to commit to your most joyful and authentic life and to let go of addictions and let go of all addictions and addictive energies. The angels will help you weigh the pluses and minuses of the addictive behavior. Once you are emotionally ready to release it, take the following angel action steps. Go to a quiet place where you won't be disturbed. Then say silently or aloud, Archangel Raphael, the divine physician, I call upon you now. Think of what you'd like to release, such as the issues in the tissues like destructive patterns, compulsive behaviors, toxic relationships, or any unhelpful unhelp and unhelpful cravings. Using your clairvoyance and your inner vision, imagine that these addictions um, or a symbol of them are sitting on your lap or upper legs. You might see or feel these addictions um, and you might notice that they are attached to your, your stomach area with tangled cords, webs, or roots. Breathe deeply while saying, Archangel Raphael, I am now ready to release these former addictions to you and heaven. Please cut all of the co roots, cords, and webs attached to these addictions and lift them up to the light for transmutation and healing as I return to my most joyful self. I just love that angel action step for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. After Archangel Raphael cards away the addictions, visualize the emerald green healing light flowing freely into your body, mind, and spirit to nurture, soothe, and fulfill you. You will notice a drastic reduction in your addictive cravings. Feel free to repeat this process if needed until the addiction is completely cleared. And so the crystal to work with over the weekend is actually the tea made of kunzite. It's a water crystal called hiddenite. And the key, word, um, the key word is gratitude. And the affirmation is, I am always pouring love into the world through the wellspring of my heart. This is a super precious piece crystal. I love these striations that run along the length of it. Mm, this is hiddenite, hiddenite. And so as we move into the Leo sun over the weekend, use your natural born leadership skills and self-confidence to support, your, support yourself in healing away these addictions and attracting more joy. Um, and so the message, the, the angel messages for this week is to trust your clairvoyance and inner vision as you use the law of attraction to increase your joy quotient and heal away any addictions from your body, mind, and spirit. And so I want to thank you so very much for taking the time to watch this video. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to like it, share it, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you want to receive more information on angelic alchemy or getting the issues out of the tissues, please visit my website at jillkempnerhealing.com and sign up for my newsletter. And remembering the motto, all angels all the time. Um, I am sending you so much love and angel blessings for a beautiful week filled with trusting your clairvoyance, increasing your joy quotient through the law of attraction, and healing away any addictions that are blocking your most joyful and authentic self. Um, thank you so very much. Have a beautiful week. Talk to you soon. Namaste.